Hello students, this is Mr. McAllen and uh, we're going to talk more about uh, polynomials and uh, describing polynomials but uh, today what we're going to be doing is in this example um, we're going to be focusing on uh, if we have a graph of a polynomial and we have the equation we want to be able to explain uh, using polynomial theory um, our extrema, our zeros, and our end behavior. So polynomial theory is very very simple um, but there are a few things that we have to talk about first first of all um, the highest degree of the polynomial that degree uh, tells us a few things the first thing it tells us the degree tells us um, how many zeros at or how many roots at max we can have So what that means is based on that power, we can only have at maximum three roots. Um, so that means like by looking at the function here, we can explain using polynomial theory that this follows polynomial theory because we see three crossings of the x-axis. We can see three real roots. The other thing it tells us is if the degree is the degree or one uh, the degree minus one, that value that tells us the number of turns the function can take at max. Now number of turns can also be thought of as number of extrema. So we see we have one extreme value and we have another extreme value so these are called extrema or sometimes people refer to them as turns where the function turns and changes direction but that's always equal to at maximum the uh, highest value of the polynomial minus one the last thing in polynomial theory we use is uh, we look at what the end behavior would be by looking at the last term so the end behavior tells us or, or the the highest power term tells us that our end behavior uh, will look like an x cubed function so and sometimes they ask us with end behavior to describe that using limits so again we're gonna try to drive home the point in the past few videos we've been talking about as x goes to infinity what the function value what f of x is heading to f of x seems like it's heading to infinity as well and it is so we would write that up as, and say like the limit as x heads to infinity f of x heads whoop, you shouldn't put an arrow there you should use equals infinity and for the other side as I'll do it in red as x heads to negative and whoops negative infinity the function value is heading to negative infinity so I'm going to write that up as the limit as x heads to negative infinity the function value is going to head to negative infinity so this is how we describe using polynomial theory um, uh, the extreme the how many extreme values we can have how many zeros we can have and what the end behavior would look like so just remember the power of the highest term basically dictates everything about the polynomial in terms of these uh, theoretical um, polynomial uh, theory aspects if it's if it was a four just to if this was a four we would expect to see um, four roots at max we'd expect to see three extrema at max and the end behavior would look like x to the fourth and that would change a lot of our answers here but all the same you can um, if you wanted to uh, you can take this and plug this into that uh, graphing tool Desmos and you can see how if you change x cubed to x to the fourth everything changes so I hope this video as far as instruction has helped you understand um, these polynomial, polynomial theory aspects and I look forward to hearing your comments